This really is your moment. So you want to make it in business? Here we're going to offer you lessons from the world's business superstars. Stand by for their five top tips for success. Hum. And that's just what these young entrepreneurs need to know. Open. They're warming up for a big show to raise money for their startups. How much money do you want to make? Yes. To be an entrepreneur, the first thing you need is an idea. And if you want a really big business, you need a big idea. Go! To find out what these business superstars said about their big ideas, click on one of the boxes to hear their thoughts on how they made it to the top. We're off to see the wizard. The wonderful wizard of Oz. It's going to be a great night. Give yourselves a round of applause. These entrepreneurs have been on a three-month scheme offering training and support while they launch their businesses. So what does the programme leader look for when picking a winning startup? We look at the team, so it's not just the individual, but it's obviously the whole team that makes up the startups and what the skill set looks like. We're looking for how far they've got with this idea already. And then lastly, we're looking for the idea. Is it scalable? Is this going to go big? From hundreds of hopefuls, these teams were picked. Let's meet some of them. To find out about any of these would-be tycoons, click on the boxes for their stories. My name is Jared Keely and I'm one of the co-founders at Vidzi. To impress investors at their end of scheme show tonight, the entrepreneurs will have to go out and really sell their ideas. Mobile ad spend is going to have explosive growth over the next three years. Gerard's rehearsal didn't go down too well, especially with the course leader. There's no story here. Um, I, I'm left going, so what? Yeah. It was so dry. If you're re really revolutionising the, the advertising, I should be excited by the end of this, and I'm not. It, it's bollocks. Um, no, it's, uh, it's good. It's, uh, it's really constructive criticism, and um, you, know, you want to make sure that somebody is actually telling you that stuff before you go up and pitch. Good leaders keep going when things get tough. Here's what successful business leaders think about being where the buck stops. So what does it take to be an entrepreneur? Even Bill Gates and Mark Zuckerberg were ordinary students once, just like millions of others their age. You have this idea about what an entrepreneur looks like, but if you've just got determination, ambition, and you can keep going, then anyone can do it. I think you just have to have a bit of passion for it and not take the safe option necessarily. Most startups have two or more partners. For the person with the original idea, picking your partners is the first big job. It's crucial that you complement each other, both in terms of personalities and skill set. Because a startup, the nature is you need to be very agile and versatile. And if you get the decisions about partners right, you'll soon be having to decide about hiring staff. So what do successful leaders think about hiring the right people? Before their big evening show, the startups have a warm up in a conference room in front of real investors. It's a kind of dragon's den. We have developed one of the most beautiful mobile applications that is yet to grace the Google Play and Apple App Stores. It's called Haiku Jam, and through it, three people anywhere in the world connect and create poetic expressions together. We have acquired over 600 
300, sorry, and 65 active wedding lists that we currently have on the Birdie List platform. 10 couples have got married using our service and had over £20,000 worth of gifts contributed. So we're looking for £350,000 worth of investment. What you see here is the future of advertising. It's fresh, it's quick, and it's real content that blends in and doesn't interrupt our online experiences. This audience has money to spend. So what did the investors think? A lot of great, motivated young people who got lots of interesting ideas, and I'm more than looking forward to investing and working with them. Could you write a check for these guys today if you felt like it? Well, not today. <laughs> but um, after, you know, actually looking at their plans and, and understanding them a little more, um, I'd be comfortable. Even if the checkbooks do come out later, most successful entrepreneurs insist they're not in it for the money. But some will occasionally admit that money's important. Almost showtime. So we're raising £250,000, of which £50,000. The startups are getting ready to present their ideas to their biggest audience yet. To accelerate and develop. For course leader Simon Jenner and his students, it's the climax of three months' work. We launched a partnership at the end of February. Woo! <laughs> so who are we? Who's the Birdie List team? Oh no, bollocks. Fujia Chen is using every last second to rehearse the pitch for her travel cot. A little bit nervous, but I suppose it helps for me to do a better pitch later anyway, so it is exciting. Ladies and gentlemen, five minutes to carry call. Thank you. I'd like to all you ask you all please to take a moment and just think about the worst gift you have ever received. Mine, personally, was a windscreen wiper repair kit from my grandma. We have developed one of the most beautiful mobile applications that is yet to grace the Google Play and Apple App Stores. The sales pitch for high-tech ideas was sometimes let down by old-fashioned technology. There we go. We know we need a bit of extra experience and we've Gerard has responded to Simon's critical feedback and he gets lucky with the clicker too. We are raising £250,000 of which 50 is already committed. So thank you and together we can, we will revolutionise advertising. Being an aeronautical engineer from Formula One background, I believe there are better technologies in aerospace industry that can help us to improve baby products. Fujia Chen's credentials in the space industry impressed the audience as she introduced her travel cot. Space cot requires seconds to open. And now let's go grab a point, guys. Come on, let's do it. In the end, every business has to discover its own secrets of success. But here are some final tips for these entrepreneurs before they start inventing their own rules. So how did it go then? If you want to find out more about the entrepreneurs and their businesses, this is your last chance. Uh, yeah, it went well. I think I was probably more nervous than I expected, and I picked out people's faces in the crowd that I knew. Just threw me off slightly. I really enjoyed the pitch. It was great. Um, my there was a slight issue with my clicker, and I was debating should I just continue or move back to my slide, but it all worked out in the end. The pitch went well. I can't remember what I said up there, but I think it was so good and um, yeah, brilliant. It's quite 
quite happy actually when I was on the stage because it, I quite enjoy the moment that I can tell the people about the ideas and I can see people's reaction to the product and I think that's quite a good part. If you've been inspired to have a go at being an entrepreneur, here are a few ideas to get you started.